Okay. When you say Can I do that once? I really please, want to do please that. Please do that. Shut up. Hey, shut up, yeah, Kunal. Shut up, yeah, Kunal. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Kunal Kamra. Welcome to the first episode of Shut Up Ya Kunal. That's what the podcast is called. Today with me is Madhukeshwar Desai. He's the vice president of the BJP Youth Wing. And firstly, thank you for doing this. No, I'm glad you called me. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> You've been trying to bail out for like. No, really? I didn't. Do you want to do this? Oh, I don't know. Let's see. I tried. I said I'm not coming today, but then you sort of forced me into. Yeah, today we've got cameras and all. Yeah, this is like a low-budget production trying online. I think people my age don't really understand the Jan- Bharatiya Janata Party Bharati online. Our age, yeah. We are close. I I look a lot older than he is, but it, it's not true. No, you behave a lot older than I am. <laughs> I think a lot of people behave a lot older than you do. <laughs> Thank you. First joke. <laughs> But yeah, so basically the podcast is just so that people discuss politics more and people just know their politicians better and people just know that it's a casual anything can be a casual discussion and it's fine. So my first question to you which is I don't think any have you ever been asked before what does the youth wing do exactly? So I I get asked this question quite a bit obviously because okay. I I I represent the youth wing as right. as national vice president. Right. So the, the, the primary objective of the youth wing is to effectively act like a sounding board mm-hmm. between what your needs aspirations requirements are mm-hmm. and to act as a conduit to the central government or right. to the party right. so if you had an issue that you wanted to raise right you would find it easier to raise that issue with me as opposed to a senior leader of my party yeah. or as or a senior person in government oh the youth wing is accessible if you tweet to madhukeshwar desai he will reply which i did which you did to me thank you so much for that when does someone stop being in the youth wing So the BJP says that under the age of 40 is, is the is the cut off to be in the youth wing right and we implement that very strongly so anybody is over 40 please yeah gracefully yes, I, i can't say that about other political parties of course you sort of remain young young for very really long until yeah. it suits your purpose log meri umr ke bare mein keh sakte hain main adarniya rahul ji se ek varsh chota hu मुलायम सिंह जी की पार्टी के कोई यहां नहीं है अखिलेश यादव से एक वर्ष बड़ा हूं दोनों की जोड़ी के बीच में मैं जो आ गया बट हु इज द यंगेस्ट मेंबर ऑफ योर विंग करंटली आई एम यू आर द यंगेस्ट मेंबर यस एंड यू आर 29 यस ओ नाइस नाइस एंड देयर आर पीपल एल्डर देन यू बट 40 इज द अंडर द एज ऑफ 40 सो आवर प्रेसिडेंट इज 36 Who's your president? Poonam Mahajan. Poonam. She's the MP Poonam. from the place that we're actually doing this shoot from. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. My political knowledge kind of yes. sucks. I just know a few things. <laughs> One of them is, don't get into politics. <laughs> why? Everybody says that. I don't know why. I mean, it's not like I have any political ambitions, but it is just people are so wary of the word politics in India. So I, I think that doesn't limit itself to India. I think it's a global phenomenon. Yeah. yeah. But. You you have to look at it from a different perspective. You don't have to be in politics in the sense that you don't have to hold an official title in the party. You don't have to aim to contest elections one day. You could do something that is important, hmm. that is that contributes to your country or contributes to your state or contributes to the small area that you're in, which can still be political. Some people even restrict themselves to just tweeting. Yeah. which is still which is some still sort of, of politics. which is still a part of politics. You're still creating conversation. You're still you're still doing things that are uh, but are, are those like an armchair activist who just tweets and posts and writes is he welcome everyone is welcome in fact uh, i would say that an armchair an, an armchair activist is better than no activist at all right so you're saying someone tweeting which is political whether it's a, against the political party or for a political party or against politics in general his point of view is or also making fun of a politician or making, <laughs> or making fun of a political party or saying something that is silly so you are saying that's also welcome of course please tell your trollers <laughs> like <laughs> but i just said that's welcome that's welcome because bjp supporters kind of make bjp look regressive they don't understand that a person can be against an xyz political party but still be for the country social media par phone par mere facebook messenger par aur bahut gandi gandi baatein likhi gayi hain aur mujhe kaha ja raha hai ki main anti national hu 
मुझे अपने नेशनलिज्म प्रूव करने की जरूरत नहीं है किसी को ठीक है पर अगर आप एक इंडियन सिटीजन को आई एम एन इंडियन सिटीजन को ये बोलते हो कि हम आपको मार देंगे जान से हम आपको रेप से थ्रेट कर रहे हैं देन आप अपनी नेशनलिज्म कंसीडर कर लो लाइक इफ नोबडी स्टूड अप अगेंस्ट समथिंग नथिंग वुड हैव चेंज्ड एज यंग पीपल यू ऑलवेज वांट टू चैलेंज द स्टेटस को या एंड दैट इज समथिंग दैट दैट वी शुड डू दैट इज समथिंग दैट वी शुड वी शुड ऑलवेज एंडेवर टू डू बिकॉज़ हाउ एल्स विल चेंज हैपन Right. Right. If you are so content with the way things are today, hmm. you're never going to push the boundary. True. Of how to make things better. एक 20 साल के लड़की हैं, उनका सोच विचार में एक सीमित हैं, क्योंकि 20 साल की उम्र में आप कितना दुनिया देखते हैं? I don't know. I just think this whole offense thing is just kind of. It's just there's no line. You could talk about anything and someone will get offended. Like anything, I have not been able to construct a single funny joke without offending someone. That's because you're continuously pushing the boundaries of what is not funny, what is really, wrong. but anything is offensive. If I crack a joke on my parents, like disrespectful to old people. If I crack a joke on you know my uh, my girlfriend, it's like disrespecting women. If I crack a joke on politics, disrespecting country. Like well, let's it is back just, it up. You have a girlfriend. I'm very no, not really. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, but uh, see, for comedy you have to make up some things. <laughs> see, so <laughs> what I said just now can be construed as offensive, right? Yeah, could be. But because but it's like, not against the law. Hai, hai, hai. I can't have a girlfriend or <laughs> like I can go like. But right, of so course. it really depends on it depends on the context that you're speaking. It depends on a whole bunch of things that you do. Uh, let me say it. I'll, I'll say it this way: if it's uh, offensive in law, it's offensive to you. It's offensive to me. Which is, if it is uh, wrong in law, then I would say it's offensive. If it is not wrong in law. Then in my view, it shouldn't be offensive. भाई साहब मेरे मूल स्वभाव में तो मजाक या निशा है लेकिन आज इन दिनों मजाक बहुत बड़ा संकट बन गया है पता नहीं ऐसा क्यों डर लगता है मिस्टर मुझे खुद को डर रहता है जी पहले मैं भाषण करता था साहब इतनी हंसी मजाक करता था लेकिन कोई परेशानी नहीं होती थी आप ज्यादा कॉन्शियस हो गए साहब डर रहे हैं कॉन्शियस नहीं डर रहे हैं जी सब कोई डर रहे हैं हंसी मजाक खत्म हो गई है जी चिंता का विषय है सुंदर पिचाई Oh, no. I swear on God, you're the first one to say that. No, there's no chance. Everybody like when I put up this, they were just like, "This guy looks like Sundar Pichai," and I was like, "Dude, maybe he does a little bit." Mm-hmm. But wouldn't you want to be Sundar Pichai? Only if I can work out of India. Even if I, <laughs> like I said, I'm happy to be Sundar Pichai as long as I can as live in India. As long as it's that's a deal breaker for me. Wouldn't you rather be Sundar Pichai than be where you are? Dude, no boss. Like I said, no. You're a big corporation. You're totally in control of politics. Then, right? That's how it works. अच्छा बोले ऐसा होता है. Have you ever broken a traffic signal? You know, I can make out whether the question that you're going to ask is is going to be something provocative based on when you're reading it itself. <laughs> yeah, possibly. But have you ever broken a traffic signal? I'm sure I have. You have? I'm sure I have. Most popular people would have said my driver has done it. <laughs> like you're the only one accepting. No, right. I'm not Salman Khan. Yeah, thank you for addressing it, <laughs> Salman fans. He is the one saying it. Okay. I am writing a fictional series on. Sorry, not a fictional series. Sorry, I'm writing a reality series on why Salman was innocent. <laughs> I'm actually making a docu on how innocent man. Just gets bullied by judiciary for a crime that his driver has done. Ridiculous. <laughs> What's an ideal Sunday? Sometimes I just, which is rare, but it's it's one of my favorite Sundays. Just crawl on the bed, put your laptop on your chest, and watch Netflix. Yeah, that's your not ideal Sunday. Not Prem Rathandan Payo. And not Man Ki Baat. <laughs> not Prem Rathandan Payo. <laughs> I like how you didn't mention Man Ki Baat in your ideal Sunday. What sort of a party? Man. All these young people—they're just too westernized. Why Netflix when PM is on radio addressing issues? मेरे प्यारे देशवासियों, नमस्कार. देश के कई भागों में जमाजम बारिश से मौसम सुहाना हो गया है. जमाजम बारिश से मौसम सुहाना हो गया है. जमाजम जम बारिश से मौसम सुहाना हो गया है. It's fine. You don't have to listen to Man Ki Baat. I do sometimes. You presume that if you watch Netflix, you can't listen to Man Ki Baat. No. Whoever it's watches Netflix doesn't this. listen to Man Ki Baat. That's I can statistically prove. You watch prove. Netflix and you watch. No, you I heard don't. Man Ki Baat. I don't watch. You just told me five minutes back you heard it, and you're countering something that I was saying. I heard it. 
but i'm saying statistically it's a very small number of netflix watchers and monkey bat watchers like listeners sorry but yeah here's a few other what's your favorite rahul gandhi joke do you have one i think there are too many to like any one particular one but don't you think you all should stop with rahul gandhi jokes now i think rahul gandhi should stop making rahul gandhi jokes me suno suno badi interesting baat hai shiv ji ki photo mein congress ka chahiye maine guru nanak ji ki photo dekhi usme congress ka chahiye maine buddha ki photo dekhi usme congress ka chahiye mahavir ji ki photo dekhi usme congress ka chahiye hazrat ali ji ki photo dekhi usme congress ka chahiye see i think that's what the election commission needs to do is each political party campaigning should not be allowed to name the other political party and still do speeches of 60 minutes now it gets tricky because now it's totally agenda that you have to stick to because the moment you have to fill 60 minutes purely on agenda oh that's a tough one if i don't have to go to how bad the congress is or how stupid kejriwal is and still fill 60 minutes of my slot at a rally oh then i have to really do my homework the congress is in no way a benchmark for this government the doing But doing the government doing better, is perpetually making comparisons to the congress doing, not at all doing better work is where, where this government prides itself switch on so the tv not, right now and there'll be samit patra telling another person aapke government ne kya kiya tha <laughs> like that is the conversation so I, that's I, going on thoda sonia ji ko jaake hindi sikhaiye mera bharat ka nivasi aisa hindi padhne aata nahi hai english mein english mein likh ke hindi padhti hai bolna to aata nahi hai hindi पॉलिटिकल पार्टी बैन पनीर because see 30 million people is enough of a vote bank i i i know what you're getting at because obviously nobody wants to ban paneer who wants to ban paneer right why not so it's offending me i am offended by paneer so can i go ahead and start this cause so i'll i'll ban paneer petition I, i'll direct it to what you actually what you're actually trying to ask okay. and and i'll answer that question instead of beating around the bush <laughs> oh, right <laughs> so it's about beef ban right right it's the i won't say the elephant in the room the cow in the room yeah the cow in the room and so let's look at it broadly so you have the uh, the directive principles of state policy in the constitution right that says that uh, cow slaughter should be banned hmm. right but let's look at another aspect of it do you like uh, animals do you have pets at home no i don't have pets at home i'm actually no. allergic to danto so i oh. can i'll die alone that's the sad part but you still like dogs Yeah, I don't mind them, but I'm allergic to dander. So if I come near a dog, my eyes start twitching, and I have to take an anti-allergic uh, shot. So so many of oh, my yeah. friends, I don't go to their houses because they have dogs or cats. So you have no friends. Yeah, basically, no friends and no dogs. See, coming back to that, that's why I caught you on that girlfriend thing. I knew you were lying. There's no nothing. There's nothing. My social life is. It's kind of sad. There's only alcohol, which also I'm sure at some point will get banned in Maharashtra. So I'm just thinking for alternatives. Coming back to the beef issue. Yeah, beef issue. Because otherwise you'll say I skirted it and didn't answer it. No, no, it. no. Please answer it. <laughs> That's why I'll come back to it. So you have, so like I, I love animals, right? Mm. A lot of people love uh, right. dogs, cats, birds, whatever it may be. Yeah. Uh, so I'll, I'll give you the example of my, my mom, her, her siblings. Right. They grew up in a tier two city in, in Karnataka. Mm. And just like I would come home, mm. and uh, my dog would welcome me, mm. and greet me, wagging its tail and yeah. slobber my face. Right. A cow would greet them. Right. The cows had names. Right. They all grew old with them. They, right. Besides that emotional attachment, mm. it also serves a very important part of the uh, the village ecosystem. Mm hmm. In the way that uh, it provides for a lot of things. Right. Like. So you look at the emotion that is attached with with cows. I'm not justifying any of the violence that happens in the name of cows. Yeah. In fact, uh, from the prime minister to to everyone who is in a position of power has made sure that they've said that. Gaur rakshaks that are acting in a manner that are just anti-socials that are that are wearing a garb of gaur uh, rakshaks. मैं कभी-कभी ये जो गाव रक्षा के नाम पर कुछ लोग अपनी दुकानें खोल करके बैठ गए हैं मुझे इतना गुस्सा आता है मैं राज्य सरकारों को अनुरोध करता हूं कि ऐसे जो स्वयं से भी निकले हैं अपने आप को बड़ा गाव रक्षक मानते हैं उनका जरा डोजियर तैयार करो सत्तर अस्सी परसेंट ऐसे निकलेंगे 
जो ऐसे गोरख धंधे करते हैं जो समाज स्वीकार नहीं करता है लेकिन अपनी उस बुराइयों को से बचने के लिए ये गौरक्षा का चोला पहन करके निकलते हैं Do you remember this campaign? Uh, it, it it starts every year hmm. in China. They have this festival, festival dog. to eat dogs, yeah. and the internet goes mad, mad yeah. saying, "How can you do this?" So that is that. That's the same emotion that is associated with cows. So I'm talking about the emotion that is associated with, not the legal. See, part. but I can't believe that all the gaurakshas that are out there to like do. I I, I told you right. It's, yeah, it's, you don't support it's anti-social that guys. All. It's but anti-social guys that are doing it. In in the the garb of Gauraksha. Yeah, but it's in the, it's in, it stems from, oh, our religion says cow is our mother. We have to protect our mother. So I just that's why I was explaining to you why that emotion. It's not just it's not just a religious sentiment. Right. It's an emotional sentiment. But what about other minorities who don't feel like this? They should be able to eat what they want to eat. So nobody stops them from eating what they should eat. I'm only I'm speaking about cow slaughter. But if you so I'll tell slaughter. you, you know, you're going to be this is going to this is going to upset you no end. Mm-hmm. But even when you eat beef on the menu, yeah, most of the time you're eating it's, buffalo. It's buffalo, right? You're not eating cow. Nobody is eating cow unless you're in Kerala or the northeast. Yes, there are some states. So each states have so the legislation on cow slaughter is a state subject. Right. So each state can decide how they want to do it. And you think who produces more milk per cow in the world? You think maybe it's a Dutch cow or a French cow? No. It's an Israeli cow. Uh, it's a computerized cow. Every moo is computerized. But I found that uh, description of a of a computerized cow <laughs> very <laughs> fascinating. Uh, pri- pri- Prime Minister. Every every moo every moo is recorded. The computerized the, the computerized cow. I would like to visit Israel and see the computerized cow myself someday. Is it a, is it a top priority though? This this thing. Why is it so much in the news? Why is it discussed so often? Why did it happen the moment you guys came into power? Beef ban in Maharashtra. What? I think before uh, the BJP was ruled into uh, was uh, was elected in 2014. Right. I may be wrong on this, but I think there were more than 20 states. Which had, had already had a ban on cow slaughter. Yeah. A lot of states that didn't have a BJP government and still uh, ban cow slaughter. Still ban cow slaughter. So it's just that the it it often happens that the media sort of blows uh, it out of proportion. No, it a... it boxes you into something. Yeah, actually, like everything that Kunal Kamra does from now on will be anti-national. Yeah, that's just sad. So even if you're not, yeah, which I'm even if I'm not, मतलब I'm not. <laughs> you're not. So. Nice, <laughs> thank you, bro. So, hey, <laughs> trolls, how are y'all? <laughs> come, come. You know, just go to Pakistan. Go to Pakistan. You go to Pakistan. That's it. It's as simple as that. What's wrong? Just go to Pakistan. Most people right now uh, consume news as per their original bias. So, if okay. the public feels that Rahul Gandhi is an idiot, so they consume news which proves further Rahul Gandhi is an idiot. If people think Narendra Modi is the best PM, they consume news that takes further the point. Narendra Modi is the best PM. Nobody consumes news for news. People are consuming news to further their opinion, which they've already made, which I think is a problem because right now you all don't have a good opposition, which is much necessary. तो इधर उधर की ना बात कर ये बता कि काफिला क्यों लूटा तो इधर उधर की ना बात कर ये बता कि काफिला क्यों लूटा हमें रहसनों से गिरा नहीं तेरी रहबरी का ख्याल है तेरी रहबरी माना कि तेरी गीत के काबिल नहीं हूं मैं कि तेरे बीच के काबिल नहीं हूं मैं तू मेरा शौक तो देख मेरा इंतजार तो इट्स जस्ट करंटली देर इज नो वन यूर लाइफ कम एंड फुल एंड फुल मेजोरिटी एंड यूर लाइफ योर टू स्टे इट्स प्रिटी क्लियर एंड दैट्स वॉट वरीज पीपल सो इट्स लाइक यूर ब्लेमिंग समन फॉर डूइंग अ गुड जॉब नॉट अ गुड जॉब अ गुड कैंपेन गुड जॉब तो वील सी यार This was a good campaign. Bijli ka meter kar naya ho. Bil ki dehshat waha ho. Bil jab bhi aana hai, rona rona na hai. Congress sarkar ke paas to bas bahana hai. Kar badi meter ki kahani dhar dhar ki. Kar badi meter ki kahani dhar dhar ki. 
बेहतर जिंदगी के लिए बेहतर दिल्ली के लिए दिस वॉज अ गुड कैंपेन आज हर चौराहे पर खुशियां मजबूर हो रही हैं। रक्षाटली you're saying they face no difficulties so i'll tell you where difficulty is you have difficulties in countries like america okay where you're a minority mm mm-hmm. and you probably have a travel ban against you right where you're a minority yeah and you probably cannot practice your religion right or you have other countries where you have similar issues right in india you have perceived issues there is no real issue you're saying there are perceived issues on it and they are amplified by a lot of organizations institutions and the media that want to highlight things that sometimes don't exist It's perception it, with no truth perception has some truth so i do believe perception has some truth like i'll give you an example sure. like you gave me one i was coming back in a taxi from pune uh, and this obviously muslim driver it can't get obvious more obvious than that he is muslim he's wearing a skull cap he has a beard and he is a muslim he must be about 60 62 a cop stopped us and then uh, the cop spoke in marathi and the guy spoke in hindi and the cop spoke in marathi and the guy replied in hindi and the cop spoke in marathi and the guy replied in hindi and i intervened and i said sir aapko pata hai ki aapki bhasha samajhne mein thodi takleef ho rahi hai inko kya aap hindi mein baat kar sakte hai kya my request is a request to which he looked at him and he said agar inko yahan rehna hai to inko marathi seekhni padegi या तो इनको बोलो गांड मरा के पाकिस्तान जाए नाउ इज दिस आई यू रिफ्यूज टू बिलीव दिस स्टोरी सो नो सो आई डोंट नो वेदर इट्स वन ऑफ द हाइपोथेटिकल सिचुएशंस दैट यू आर टेलिंग मी बिफोर नो और अ रियल स्टोरी इफ इट्स अ रियल स्टोरी देन इट्स वेरी सैड दैट दैट इज रेशियल बुलिंग व्हिच हैपेंस ऑन रेगुलर बेसिस एंड द कैबी वाज अराउंड 60 62 एंड ऑन द वे बैक ही जस्ट टोल्ड मी इंस्टेंसेस of similar bullying that has gone on for 40 years in his life kunal i would have been so happy if you had said this old man was being bullied he was but, being bullied only because but, he was muslim no maybe he because he didn't know the language why did he say maybe go to because, pakistan then? because he didn't why know did he the say language go to up and speak hindi no no because maybe so i'm not talking about i'm saying that you identify the issue with a religion you don't identify the issue holistically for the problem that it is that a police officer should not be speaking rudely to a person a should not be harassing an individual b and should not be should speak to him in a manner that is he did all required. that because that person was a religious minority so that if I was in the driver of the seat that conversation would have not panned out like this because he was totally comfortable talking to me in hindi and to complete the story i told him that if you do this or continue the line of questioning like this i will have to write about it and i have journalist friends so he backtracked he said okay aap ja sakte hain it is not cool that something like that happens but the reality of the uh, the reality of life today is that if you are if you belong to a certain religion huh. it's not in india right it's globally right that you do face challenges it's sad that you no, do face challenges not, see, it I'm is not... it is sad that those challenges exist but the fact of the matter is that they do exist we are staying here we live here you are uh, from a political party in india so we will keep this discussion to okay this is the sure. problem that we are facing here people in europe face different problems people in like no, i'm just I i'm just draw, i'm just drawing attention to why it's not a unique problem in india it's, it's not something problem. it's not something that we have created out of nothing but we can solve it here's what we are missing whenever we attack this problem let's not say that there are problems like these all over the world let's say how can we solve this problem that's the approach that we should take I agree. That discussion I agree. is. I'll, I'll stop you there. I'll, so, you, I'll stop no, no, you. No, no, but I'll tell you what people tell me. But if you go to Pakistan, you can't even wear a tikka. You can't even do that. And I'm just like, but we are better people. We are secular, 
and that's what we have told people so if there is even the slight bit so of that racial is, bullying yes. it needs to be curbed so i agree with you 100% if you only agree with me on one thing which is that it swings both ways in what way that racial bullying if you are hindu majority gets no, bullied no of course because you have a large you have large constituencies so you have large, i gave you my you example have, you, you have, give me yours. you have large constituencies in uh, in india right that where hindus are minorities right. what i am saying is that we are a secular country okay i believe in equality right right but your equality and your secularism cannot be only for one religion it has to be that it swings both ways अमरीका का दलाल बहन चोत बहन चोत बहन चोत ये जोरदार डिबेट जारी है ट्विटर पर और फेसबुक पर See somebody wrote to me on Twitter a very interesting tweet it came to me it's he said gaddar hai tu saale anti national to which i quoted tweet and i wanted to tweet but i didn't but what i wanted to tweet was ha guys remember the time i got kasab from the sea to taj that's what he's referring to well i think that's anti national that's something which is not pro state but asking questions is just pro state na like if you ask questions towards the political party in power if you just create humor or satire on basis of oh these issues don't get addressed and whenever issues get addressed the government just points to the army but i'm not against the army i'm just against politics going towards that direction just to win an argument just politicizing the army all the time and that's a conflict that's been running for because of politicians So you look at like if they care so much of those people standing there at minus forty five degrees, they should solve the issue and make sure there's no army. And I know it's not easy because the, our neighbors are not cooperating. This is a more politicized, sensitive issue than it is, and it can't be solved so easily, etc., etc. But we should only have conversations which lead to solving this issue, and no other conversations. कुछ मैं कभी कभी हरान हूँ. अभी कल मुझे एक पत्रकार बंदी से बात हुई. मैंने आप तो मुझे दिन रात कहते हो मोदी जी बस युद्ध हो जाए युद्ध हो जाए मैंने कहा फिर तकलीफ होगी तो क्या करोगे बिजलियां बंद हो जाएगी चीजें आना बंद हो जाएगी रेलवे कैंसिल हो जाएगी रेलवे में फौज के लोग जाएंगे आप नहीं जा पाएंगे तब क्या करोगे अच्छा बोले ऐसा होता है Like recently, did you know this? There's someone from Rajasthan. Uh, I forget his name, but he ran a Twitter poll saying how many people are ready to die for India. And there are many people who went and said yes, and there are many people who went and said no. And as an IAS officer or as a politician, you have to make the scenario of the country such that no one has to die for the country. I don't want to die of a heart attack, which is because of me and my food habits. So just imagine if I say yes, I'm willing to die for the country. How big a lie would that be? I truly believe with everything there's a spectrum. Right. So you have good comedians, bad comedians. Yeah. Comedians that play it safe, comedians that that don't that push the envelope all the time. Right. And the same way with patriotism, right? You you may have someone who just pays their taxes, right. does not break any laws, huh. is a good citizen, is still patriotic. Huh. And on the other end, you may have someone who's chest thumping patriotic, who has Okay, uh, let me paint uh, this picture slightly <laughs> differently. There's a okay. person who doesn't break the law, pays his taxes, but is non not patriotic. Has no emotional feeling towards the country. He tries to evoke it. It doesn't happen. Like the moment he looks out of this window, he's just like, no, this is. I can't be emotional about what's going on outside. Then there's one person who evades his taxes, but he's emotional about what's going outside. Here's two percent of India pays taxes. Ninety-nine percent of India loves India. Now, don't you think there's something fucked up? in those logistics ye aankde ab aapko taaju hoga hamare desh mein sirf 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 32 lakhs 32 lakh log hi ye kehte hain ki unki income unke tax return mein 10 lakh se zyada batai jati hai 
सिर्फ 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 क्या इस देश में सिर्फ 32 लाख लोग हैं जो 10 लाख से ज्यादा कमाई करते हैं I can understand certain percentage don't qualify for taxes, but the rest tax evaders. If you evade tax, how can you love your country? So that means they love their country. They don't love their politicians. ये बिग गई है government. आप government में कुछ नहीं है. So they tax. don't trust their politicians. So tax. So people don't evade taxes because they don't like their politicians. People world over try to evade taxes only to make a quick buck. Right. Or if they're trying to do something that is illegal. No, but if you're saying that the tax money is accounted for rupee by rupee, and if those it's out in the open, where it's going and where it's headed, I don't understand why would people not pay taxes. So it's not about why people would pay taxes or wouldn't pay taxes, right? It's so you have to look at where we were and where we are right now. We've right. sort of gone from, and we have a large informal economy, hmm. which we're sort of now trying to bring into the formal economy. Right. And demonetization was one of those exercises. Or bringing more the people into the. Demonetization was an exercise, which is a continuous exercise for everything. <laughs> which is what? Which is what? First, the first someone said Kashmir issue will get curbed slightly. Those issues will stop. Black money will come back. This will happen. So if you That lose weight, like, yeah. you will you will be healthier. Huh. Whether your liver will be better or not, I can't say. But you'll you'll uh, your clothes would fit better. Would fit better. And a bonus is you may probably get a girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, but right. So it's not just a one thing. It's not. One I will thing. exercise and I will lose weight, and I will only only one organ of mine will be healthier. <laughs> no, and no, if no. another one becomes, I I didn't exercise for this actually. I understand that there can be four effects of one decision, but the point is the effects were discussed, like whenever oh now this is the aim, then this is the aim, then that people also got confused. What is the aim? And then you all said whoever was waiting in the line, we'll give you a laddu. Like I thought that was slightly. I don't know. Was there humor involved in that decision? Because it's humorous. Line me aao, laddu khao. Ji ha. Bank khul gaye hain. Lambi lambi katare lag gaye hain. Aur line me khade logo ko mil rahe hain moti chur ke laddu. Three days log cash ki jo killat bhog chuke hain. Uska dard kuch halka ho. Isliye unhe BJP neta baant rahe hain mithas ka do. If you were the to make that decision would you go for laddus well i trying to watch my weight at the moment <laughs> so that's a no okay i didn't say that <laughs> do you have change for like 2000 bucks right now on you i can pay tm it to you ah. i can i can do it right <laughs> now, now we are talking so i have yeah. but yeah most of all do you have the b map on your phone what's that you really saying what's that what is that peesh karte hain aapka bhugtan sathi bheem bharat interface for money जो आपके सभी भुगतानों को सरल सुरक्षित और सुपर फास्ट बनाएगा चाहे वो आपका बिजली का बिल हो कॉलेज की फीस हो घर का किराया हो या पैसे प्राप्त करने की रिक्वेस्ट हो बीजेपी आदित्यनाथ जी इज द चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश राइट लॉट ऑफ द मीडिया Try to paint him into one box. Right, right. You had one of the largest LGBT LGBTQ pride parades mm -hmm. in Lucknow. Yeah, I think about a week back. Week back, yeah, I saw photos. And you had permissions were granted. No one was harassed. They got to exercise their their free speech. But they no got official, to exercise their right. But no official statement on. It's not about. You have to understand that things are culture and the way that morality functions as well. Uh -huh. Is that there are there are gradual changes to it. Mm. and the law takes its course when i say it takes its course it's not that you have somebody who's being murdered i'm saying legislation takes its course right. i don't think what somebody does in their private life what someone's personal leanings are should have an effect should have an effect on what their what, what their rights are and or, or how they're treated not at all so you are not you are for equality but you are yes. not totally for same sex marriage so same sex marriage is very different from people who have uh different personal beliefs uh, sexual being, preferences uh, sexual preferences being mistreated or being ill treated because of their sexual personal beliefs or their sexual preferences but at the same time you don't so think they a, should be allowed to same sex marriage. marriages are i would say still a couple of steps forward i first, think the, let's give them the, equality the first step is equality and the first step is not being discriminated on that basis and the bjp is for giving them equality so the bjp is for giving everyone equality it's not about painting anyone on the basis of 
of their religion or their personal choices such a non controversial answer but yeah koi bhi maa ye nahi chahti ki uska beta kisi lafange ko bahu bana kar ke ghar mein le kar ke aaye koi bhi maa ye nahi chahti ki uski beti pati ke roop mein kisi ladki ko ghar mein le aaye maine kaha जो भी हेमोसेक्सुअल लोग हैं जिनको ये गलत लत लग गई है और जो इससे मुक्त होना चाहते हैं मैंने उनको कहा पतंजलि योगपीठ में हम उनको आमंत्रित करते हैं उनको सम्मान पूर्वक हम इस गलत लत से मुक्त करा देंगे but being overtly positive is not an issue so why is being overtly positive an issue because you are not identifying problems so it's there is being blindly positive blindly positive and then there is being positive so there may be blindly positive there may, is an issue there may be there may be people that are blindly positive kale dhan par rok ke liye laaye ja rahe 2000 rupaye ke currency note ko banane ke liye state of the art nano technology ka istemal hoga ye ek nayi baat hogi 2000 rupaye ke har ek note par NGC यानी नैनो जी पी एस चिप लगा हुआ होगा यानी ऐसी करेंसी जिसमें एन जी सी लगा होता है उसकी लोकेशन को ट्रैक किया जा सकता है अब आप उसे चाहे तो सात तालों में भी बंद करके रखे वो ट्रैक हो जाएगी बट बींग ब्लाइंडली पॉजिटिव और बींग स्लाइटली नेगेटिव वॉट इज बेटर फॉर द कंट्री चूज वन एंड ओनली वन चूज वन एंड ओनली वन सो लाइफ इज नॉट Uh, life is not yeah, binary is right is he being a politician <laughs> just letting you all know life is <laughs> not binary because i know his choice okay i've hung out with him four times now now i know what he's going to choose <laughs> the two choices which he's rejecting to choose one is overtly positive about I the country i exercise my choice not to choose <laughs> slightly negative i exercise my choice here's not to choose here's another question they say voting for nota <laughs> <laughs> but yeah that's a great discussion we had uh, and uh, thank you so much for coming and that's us so to the end I like how you said it'll be uh, now we're going to the chill part and then we had like an intense conversation <laughs> after that Shut shut eh shut up ya kunal 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 I I have a suggestion What? if you just go outside your house Yeah pick up the goo over there Okay thanks put it in the dustbin <laughs> That in its and evade taxes? <laughs> no, 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 no. Pay your taxes. Just, just that one thing. Just go outside your house. How much little goo will be there? You pick it up and put no, it in the dustbin. I can't tell you. That's a, that is enough for you to do for your country. See, I can't tell. That's you. a start. Okay. That's a start. यहाँ लॉजिक के बदले में सोचो मिलता है वो कोरे जो उसको ऑरेंज लड्डू मिलता है यही देश नहीं जो मुल्लों की रेस है इसमें सच में किया क्या मोफलाट फेस है देखो मैंने अब सवाल करने छोड़ दिए हैं मैंने तेज भागने को नहीं जुते लिए हैं मेरे सारे सपने धीरे धीरे मर रहे हैं में हमारे जवान लड़ रहे हैं